Um, I don't think that's good for you. Hi everyone, welcome to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. It's me, Eartha, and welcome to my backyard. You know, this year I really didn't invest and put any time into starting a garden. Um, It's just been so hot. And after uh, the summer last year, you know, here in San Antonio, we had temperatures over 100. And so it was really hard um, growing vegetables, you know, having a garden. It was hard having grass. But as you can see, um, we do have a little lawn going on here. We have a little bit of greenery, but it's taken a lot of work, uh, you know, watering putting down nutrients for the grass. Um, and, you know, just, I'm just so thankful for the rain that we received throughout the earlier parts of the summer. And so I do have a couple of things that I'm growing in my garden space. Uh, I should rather say, my son is growing basil and I have an eggplant. And um, I'd like to show you this the basil plant and kind of use that as part of the topic that we're going to talk about in our series today. What we're going to talk about is self care. And I hope you enjoy this series. I had some like really creative um, ideas to help bring more understanding to the concept of how important it is to take care of ourselves. So my dog Swan is right here. So, um, I'm going to step on her foot, but she's okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you the, the basil plant. Okay. So this is basil and you know, it's, it's looking pretty good. It's not, it's not too withered right now. The temperature outside is very pleasant, maybe, um, eighties or nineties, but by later on this afternoon, that's when the temperature really starts to get hot and the leaves begin to wither. You can see a little bit of withering right there. You see how the corners of the leaf is kind of curled up a little bit. So I'm going to water it. Hopefully that will help it not get too parched uh, later on this afternoon. Um, I have an eggplant growing on growing over here and it's this is about the end of its season what we're going to talk about a little bit more in a little detail is about self-care self-care is a very strong part of mindfulness um, being able to understand your body um, read your body you know you're reading a newspaper reading a book are you reading your body body and I'm not referring to like looking at your body which that is also important but paying attention to the inside feelings and reactions and mo and emotions that you're undergoing in everyday um, in everyday life when certain situations occur and not just you I mean me too so just like as a gardener, we look at our 
plants in the garden. And right now it looks really healthy, not too bad, the basil plant. Um, according to the leaves of the eggplant, maybe I could trim uh, that plant a little bit and see if we can get another season out of it. I know that um, these plants are really struggling because of the heat. And so, you know, I'm taking all that in consideration and trying to have a great, healthy um, uh, basil plant because, you know, when I add basil to uh, seafood or chicken or a salad, it really, have you tried that? Just add a little bit of basil, uh, even like like a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil and um, slice up some, a uh, little bit of garlic or uh, onion, just toss it uh, and then put in some basil, a little bit of fresh tomatoes. It's, it's my children really love it. Um, and it smells so fresh. Uh, so that's the mindful eating part. Got off track. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, it's like bringing a little bit of outside, inside. And so paying attention to these plants. You know, I just thought that our, are we paying attention to ourselves? You know, even though we may feel healthy and pretty hydrated, am I really paying attention to how the external environment is affecting my inner world. The heat, the stress, the politics, the non-politics. I mean, in life, how is that affecting me? Am I taking care of myself? The analogy that I'm going to bring up in a few moments, and I got this exercise from um, the Stressful uh, Teens book. It had a great exercise, and I'm going to share it with you in a, uh, in a few moments. But it uses a, a, a visual tool that we're water bottles. You know, each one of us is a water bottle. And the water represents energy. And oftentimes, we're pouring our energy out to others. But are we, refinish, are we re refilling our water bottle? So I'm just giving this basil. This is a lemon bush, lemon tree bush. Um, just kind of giving it some water. Let me see. Because I know that it's going to get more hot later on. And so I'm trying to help this plant prepare for the heat. You know, if I am involved with a lot of things in my personal life and my business life, am I preparing myself for the, the day? Am I replenishing myself? So with this analogy that water represents energy and I'm continually providing energy to things that need the energy, how am I replenishing myself? That's the question. Are you okay, Swan? She's drinking water from the water holes. And so it's important for us to replenish, replenish our energy through different ways. Can you think of some ways to replenish energy? To provide yourself with self-care? Can you think of a few ways? Sometimes, you know, taking care of ourselves, walking, 
walking the dog. Or just a nice easy walk. Exercise. Journaling. Just noticing our breath. Protecting ourselves from the elements, not engaging in activities that's going to cause us harm. Wearing sunscreen or sleeves that can protect our skin. What are some other ways we can do self-care and refill our water bottles?